Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. I decided to buy a chuck glider from takealot.com. It's the RC416 hand launch glider and convert it to RC. Its wingspan is just under one meter. The glider is called the Cheetah, appropriate for South Africa I think. I already had the parts I needed to complete this project. A Turnigy 2211 1700 kV motor. The receiver I was going to use is a V8R4, which is an old receiver that I had lying around. And the ESC is a Turnigy AE20 amp, which is a bit overkill for the motor, but it's what I had in the box. I will be using a 2 cell 1000 milliamp battery. The first thing I did was cut out the elevators on the tailplane. And as you can see from this picture, it was quite useful. The, there were indentations on the tailplane, so you knew where to cut them out. I used a hollow carbon fibre spacer to go through the fuselage and then linked the two halves of the elevator using a carbon fibre rod. It was necessary to carve away some of the foam to accommodate the spacer. Here is a picture of the completed elevator with the fixings. Here is the completed tailplane. I'm only going to use elevator and ailerons on this aeroplane. Now moving on to the ailerons. And the same as the elevator, there were indentations on the wings to uh, show me where to cut those out. I'm using six gram servos in this project, so one in each of the wings for the ailerons and one for the, in the fuselage for the elevator. And now to the business end of the fuselage. I cut the nose off and then made a plywood firewall, which I then epoxied to the front of the fuselage. This would allow me to mount the electric motor to the front of the plane. I tried my best to cut the fuselage without having any up or down thrust. I can always adjust that later if I need to with washers behind the motor mount. The next stage was to carve out the fuselage so that it could take the 1000 milliamp hour two cell battery. You can see from this picture how I installed the ESC and the receiver. All I did was cut out the side of the fuselage and uh, push them in tightly into the gaps. You can also, with this type of foam, just slightly slice the foam and put the wires for the servos inside. You can see I haven't done that with the, for the ailerons yet. I'm waiting to do the first test flight and then I may cut the wires and solder them and not use plugs on to try and make the plane a slightly lighter. And here is the completed aeroplane waiting for its maiden flight. Uh, it's flying beautifully. I had to adjust quite a lot of trim there. But it's flying beautifully. I don't think I'd want to fly it in a very windy day, but it's going nicely. And I don't think it'll do aerobatics, but it'll be a nice park flyer. <laughs> it's so quiet too. I estimate I'll get about a 10 minute flight out of this battery. There she goes. The wing, wings are bending up, but I'm not sure whether to reinforce those with carbon fiber. I don't think I will. I've set the timer up for eight minutes and then I will do a, a test of battery voltage so I can estimate how long it will fly. So I normally do that with the first battery just so that I don't you know, overcook the battery. It's a cute little plane, flying beautifully. 
not going to be aerobatic, but I, I didn't think it would be because of the size of the ailerons. She's almost flying hands off there. Now I'm on about half throttle. You can see the wind when it, when it goes downwind, it uh, accelerates it. So on a windy day, it might be a bit more, a bit, I think a bit too hairy to fly. Okay, let's put on for a landing. Beautiful. Um, well chuffed, what a little beauty. It worked beautifully. Now I'm going to um, cut off the wires and take the plugs off and insert them into the wings. Now I've done a maiden and I'm really pleased with that. It's not very aerobatic. Um, and I think that's because of the short ailerons and I think if I understand it, um, it this, this section causes a lot of drag. But as a park fly, just have a little bit of fun with. And I was quite happy to fly quite close to the ground there. So I think a successful project. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.